a large amount of those are through on series points. There's three who are 100% required to get in via that top 15 category. And one of them is in contestion right now. That is Left Eye, Fnayan, and uh, the other trio mate. I apologize, I forget that right there. I'll go ahead and get that information. But they're currently sitting Nappy. in seventh. Yes, it's Nappy, that's the other one. Now we are also care about their, uh, who is able to place first. There's still some prize money on somebody who has been around for quite literally ever in the Fortnite scene. Wolfie's the World Cup duo runner up with his partner Rojo. And then you have CRR known for being one of the strongest and most mechanically talented players in Europe. And you see the lineup coming up. Wolfie's hitting Nakos and there's no teammate nearby. We saw that the French squad there has a little bit more of a split route. He's trying to get over and cover his teammate and to get the revive off right away. It looks like they're just going to have to settle for the 275 damage and actually May, no, yeah, another team is closing in on him. There's a box fight going on on that side. So Wolfies is just going to play the Observer and a spoiler as Folky is separated. So it's effectively a 1v3 over on that side. And you can see Wolfies ping out the danger ping over there and saying, hey, we can push that as Clement goes down. So it's all going to be on the back of Floki's and Wolfies finding another 275 tag. So no worries for them on that storm surge. It's brilliantly done from the young Englishman. Before you know it, everyone's bumping and everyone's fighting. And Wolfies has kind of just in, like ignited that engagement as Blackie, CQ, and Robaz flies on by. You kind of mentioned the teams are looking in. Let me give you some numbers. We have six teams sitting in the top 15 have yet to qualify. Hiding here in the house just on the edge of zone. That's not necessarily someone you want to be. I would have rather seen them rotate a little bit more centrally as now they're kind of leaving themselves open to this aggression coming from the north. They're going to try and get together, fight hip to hip, get in the box. You see the spray coming through and that's Chapix. Chapix will end up getting down there. You can see Link also getting squeezed up in the feed. So some good knock coming through there and a good conversion to get Bondig on the board here and a great edit shot right there coming out finding Milan gets the 110 on the headshot afterward and Nana is going to clean that up and a quick little ambush turns the other way around. Got to be careful about what you're hunting there. Yeah, I'm going to say this straight up. If you don't, if like, if your drop spot is by fishing spots and you don't have somebody on your team, like the second you find a harpoon, at least hitting three drop spots, you're doing it wrong. Also, not only because of the availability of shields that are there and guarantee, not guaranteed coming through, as we have C, Patrick finding some great shots there on the AR spray from the hip, tossing 200 pump back to make sure they get the shakedown for the additional information as well as the MAC damage. So now, Mick the Beast is going to be under pressure as they're going to continue pushing forward because, you know, they want all that prize money. They want that number one spot. They want to be going into the heats next week saying, hey, we got all of this and making sure they do all the little things right, bringing over the legendary bolt sniper to make sure they get the headshot that one elimination puts them 755 damage above the storm surge threshold already averaging six elims in day one 6.5 their average placement is a place Putra coming in and closes out Kovac from the backside. Hen is now on the front side here. Going to get the last remaining member of this trio. Almost whips it. And they're going to wait for this opportunity for everything to catch up. Because Hen is moving at a blazing pace. Connected. Converted points awarded for hen and his trio and they're not slowing down right particularly the like looking actually at the pairs themselves with hen and deceptos hen really being a little bit more the thomas he's kind of more reliable in that final class situation oh and as oh. i say that not reliable in that situation get down mr president no hen catches a bullet to the back of the head link making him pay and the spray will come out right away as seven tour and link Try and close the gap. The sideways shockwave coming through, trying to find it. They know how desperate it is to get the conversion. Lush is actually going to help him out there as Deceptos also gets converted on. So it's all going to fall there. So close from Tatters. It's all on Patrick's back. The Navi player trying to hold him back as he's going to be sandwiched on the edge of the zone. And like I said, look at it. Patrick now is down to the sliver of HP and he's been chosen by the lobby and gets eliminated right then and there. The pressure was too much and out goes the top trio from day one. The theme sundown of what's happening, the bottom of the board affecting the top of the board. It just shows again how stack of a talent that we have here today and so much hp is being drained from you as you're fighting for your life and look at this a cheeky hidden hiding moment right here hiding in this cone i don't know if that's his cone though because it had a red edit symbol on it does have 
the med kit underneath him, but this is going to believe this is zone number four. So I think, yep, I was just about to say that's a five tick zone. There's no possible way. Pop a bandage, Zexro. Try and pop a med kit, Floki, but going to go down instead. Need to drop it. We'll deactivate when 50 or less. And Ref's guard now going to open up his edits and look to return some shots. We're about to get into the chaos of the end game. Zone six, seven, eight, nine are full rotation. Nine is the one that completely closes up. Ref's guard closes out that Elim. Gets a nice one point right there. And they already, we joined in. They had zero points. They got three points right then and there in the blink of an eye you could just start racking up points as long as you stay on your feet now we're going to take a look at a team that could do very well and possibly get the victory royale and that is the cooler zq blackie and robot sitting at hype trios and it's different from duos and solos you don't want to go for height this early but in a trio you have enough mats you have enough kind of coverage to hold on to it as much as possible but the issue is it's really hard to hold on to it when you have max pulls like this zone so expect this trio to kind of vault their way over to make sure they claim height again it's going to be an interesting thing how it all rolls up but they're right now they're not yet in a real strong position to get the victory out yeah there it is they're about to shock on over and then crank for height really strong performance right there so far for zq robots and blackie a good job from ZQ putting a little pump shot down there on the only players who'd be able to contest. Now they're going to belt face and begin to rifle fire. Notice how in the bottom right hand corner, everyone else has to go past them. They need to connect on these shots though to guarantee they still have the high ground. Uh, somebody comes straight into his box oh! and it's Mongol and ZQ turns it around. He finds the huge 170 into the 200 on the ground and Mongol tries to clip it again. He tries to put him on the highlight reel like he did for Nikov, but instead Mutombo comes out, says, no, 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 slaps him down, ZQ, holds the high ground because of that shot, and they're going to be able to run it out with a much-needed turn of events here. Blackie and Robabs putting down some shots as everyone else continues to tarp forward. What a big-time SWAT and a big-time rejection by CQ to be able to stay away of Mitro, Tayson, and Mongrel. And that's the kind of thing that you need to do. You can have all the materials in the world. You can have all the mobility in the world. But when push comes to shove, you're going to be able to have to hit your shots, kid. And ZQ definitely hit his shots right there. And now it's all about keeping the pressure down, shoving everybody down to the bottom. What we all know where the chaos really rings true. ZQ catching left eye out in the storm, picks up a big time knock right there. There is the elimination, the confirmation, one point are rewarded. And we are already in the top 17. We're in 12 points. So every Elim will kind of be bonus with a placement point after our full trio has been white. Yeah, and we just saw the full trio wipe of Left Eye, Fnayan, and Mappy. That's one of the trios who has to place in the top 15. So they're going out in 13th here. ADN gets cleared out on the low ground. We're going to hop back on over to Mr. Rejection himself as he serves up another one there. Huge shot onto Rejasher. The ovation player gets taken down, and it's ZQ on the high ground. Still 36 mats, and you can see him trying to use as many of those soft mats to just get connections because he knows straight tarping out isn't going to be an option for much longer but we're into our top 10 trios nine trios left just over 20 players remaining as zq continues to rain fire down but he needs to be aware of his medium bullets does have the shockwave as well for a little bit of playmaking opportunity gonna continue to tarp out as he goes to work yeah, that inventory and the, having only one duo partner with them in Blackie to put every down, one down. And there it is. The mid ground goes for height immediately. And just like that, height could be taken away from you considering that they not had everything going the way. But he goes down. He's like, I'm not done swatting people left and right. Gets oh. Kinsel and a big time. Another second elimination. ZQ Cooler is rocking it right now. And he also has the two floppers. He's going to pop one. He has the bandages if the zone cuts back, but it'll only save him a second. Trust me, I know this. Now you can see we'll get a tarp over on the side. We've talked about EU, and it's how it's the effort of the Lone Rangers and ZQ. He took out Mongrel. He took out Wolfies. He took out Kinzo. Who can't he take out on his way to a top five performance? Oh! That's another huge one. Pushing him in top four now. And these are full eliminations as well. Nine Elims on the back of the cooler player. ZQ continuing to tarp forward as we cut out now. Vato up on the high ground, continuing to work down. Can he find a little bit more space? The sideways shockwave coming through from the user player. Not able to find it necessarily. But the question is, will the run end? And there it goes. ZQ 
finally goes down, but he gets the third place out as the match will then come to a close. Well done, Provato, Leo, and Airwax to secure the victory royale. But man, the stole was show. Uh, the, the sh really, really impressive stuff there, you know? He ended up coming in with a big, big not 11 eliminations in third, which is really going to hopefully move them up in the leaderboards. Over there, though, ZQ, the man who I think hasn't slept in a month in, in, in the fashion he was... <laughs> And this is the page I'm kind of most interested in to see which teams are still, try still trying to 